well look at this they're now on the road and they are the sweetest things hopefully we'll stay on the road itself because that will allow us at least to be able to watch them waddling away without hitting too many trees no nope. mom's decided that's not happening we're going into the bush again so little ones are going to have to bundle over sticks and branches and all kinds of other nonsense to be able to keep up with mom so Super cool to see though the little ones they are tiny and it's most definitely their tracks that I saw earlier I Thought that it was maybe shadows cub, but it's most definitely the tracks for these little ones and there they go They just meandering off in a little clearing now Oh a little bit of a fight and so <laughs> This so cute. I think they're tired though. You can see they're panting quite a bit and they're slowing up. They're not really running as much and, and like I say, mom has walked them really far and the, I believe the rest of the pride is on Arethusa somewhere so they, I think, are going to be dragged all that way and mom's going to take them a long, long distance still. It's not going to end any time soon but this is the life of a little cub, unfortunately, is that you get left behind in hunting times and then you've got to catch up wherever the pride may be. Also, this female it's her first time that she's she's a mother and so she doesn't really probably understand everything that's going on and she's trying to figure out techniques that work for her and that she'll do by kind of learning and, and processes that go on so theoretically she doesn't really have to walk these cubs all the way back but maybe she just feels better if they're close by especially if she's lost one she might have a situation where she's just a little bit more kind of aware of the fact that she needs to keep the little ones as close by as possible but there we go and she's looking absolutely beautiful as well she's oh little one you want to sit in the shade for a bit shame mom is making you walk too much here she comes like I say, her condition is fantastic. It, she looks really good. The cubs look fat and healthy. So everybody is looking properly good at the moment. And here come the little ones. Hey, guys. You're starting to calm down a bit now. It's nice when she stops for a little bit because it means that at least we can get a situation where we can actually watch them and see these little ones up close. Now, I'm hoping that as they come past, they can see if they're little males or females. I think... The front one looks like, oh, difficult to say without them sitting still for two seconds. But the back one looks like a little male, so the one right at the back, he looks like a little male. I might be wrong though, right? it's difficult, they don't stand still for long enough and the front one looks like maybe a little female, so it looks like maybe one female, one male, but not confirmed. I'll have to just double check it again just now, but most certainly they look as though yeah, there is a little male in there. The back one seems to have what looks like little testicles hanging underneath his tail, but I can't really see very well. They're bouncing around too much. Hopefully they settle down somewhere here and then I'll be able to actually see them a little bit better to be able to work out exactly what is what and who is who. But it'll be nice if there's another female in the pride. That definitely means that she'll be able to kind of settle in and, and then continue the growing of the pride and getting it back into a big unit. Odie farming why you asking why she separated from the pride well the reason she separated from the pride is because what happened was is she probably left her cubs where they were sleeping on Torchwood two days ago to go off and hunt and so she's gone off hunting and she's gone towards the pride now the pride might have a kill at the moment and that's why she's now gone back to go and fetch them and take them to where the pride will be static also at the end of the day you might find a situation that she knew after two days she needs to go and suckle these little ones and so she has a situation that she needs to get into that area Oh, hello, catch up. Yeah, definitely a little male, this one at the back. So you can see it's a little male clearly now. His little testicles are. So <laughs> he's definitely a boy. And then the front one looks like a little girl. So one boy, one girl, which is a perfect little thing to have. Like I say, it's going to be good for the one male that is in the Nkuma Pride already. He's a year old. And so adding another male to the mix, even though this one will be a year younger, will still be able to probably leave with that male. And the two of them together stand a much better chance than if it was just one by itself at the end of the day a lot of other male lions in this area and so if you can form a coalition with a sibling that's certainly going to help a little bit 
But so she basically might have just gone and suckled them and now she's just taking them a little bit closer to where the pride is so that she doesn't have to walk as far to go and suckle every time. It's not that she's split away from the pride. She was with the pride yesterday. So it's just that she's now gone to go and fetch the cubs to keep them fed and happy and healthy and, and make sure that they are not in a situation where they lose too much condition. At this age, they've got to feed regularly and they've got to have milk. And so she needs to kind of keep going back and forth between the pride. Remember, the pride doesn't really care for these two cubs that much. They need to eat. And so their sort of mission is to try and find food all the time. It's not to wait for little cubs to catch up and to feed and then get back. And so that's why she has to go back and forth herself um, or on her own. And then the pride will kind of do their own thing. The thing is, last year it was a little different is because three females all denned at the same time and so that was the majority of the pride and you would have noticed that this young female and amber eyes actually spent a long period of time apart from the, the other three and they would walk around and go and do their own thing but those three tend to stay quite close because well they all had cubs of a similar age and it made sense for them to be close to the cubs and that's why they didn't leave Juma for those 84 days or whatever it was they were always around and that's the reason is that the, that the majority of the pride had cubs and that meant that everybody kind of stayed together now it's getting quite dense here so I'm just gonna let them drift a little bit from me and let them go a little further just so that I'm not crashing right behind them I, I know we won't get many visuals of them as we do that but it's going to be better for them getting more relaxed Meter age eight, yes, meter. They are eating meat. We had them the other day on a kudu kill at Chitwa, and they were tucking into a kudu and they were really starting to relish the taste of meat. They obviously are not eating a lot of it, they, they're preferring mom's milk, but they will still eat a little bit of meat, and then they are slowly but surely getting taught to eat meat. Come on, there we go, over we go. Now I'm just gonna try and like I say give them a bit of distance while there's lots of vegetation because ultimately I don't want the little cubbies to stress about us and ever get sort of scared of us because if they get scared of us then later they start to not want to be anywhere near us whereas if we just be a bit respectful and we give them a bit of space you can see they're not then too perturbed by us. so she should just cross straight in front of us and we're heading towards that new road and then from the new road triple m will be fairly close from there so i would say maybe another 20 minutes and or maybe 15 and she'll be off onto the other side but how cool is this what a special surprise this morning i didn't think we would see these guys i thought they were actually already across in Arethusa and so I didn't expect us to see any lions this morning. I heard that they were very far away and so I thought we wouldn't see but to see the little cubbies and watch them walking with mom is an absolute treat. It's also nice to see these little ones being active because often you find them in the pride and they they suckling and then they have a little nap so to see them being walked around with mom is absolutely priceless. Now they are quite far away so let's try and keep up again and get back into that area. At least it's opened out a bit again. I just kind of go through these groves of, of thickets that I have to kind of bypass and so every now and then it gets thick and then it opens out into this nice sort of clearing stuff. And when it's like this it's much much better. The off-roading is a lot easier and far less intrusive when it's a little bit more open. But Shane, these little ones are probably going to have a serious nap this afternoon. First, a good suckle of milk to replace all the nutrients and hydrate again after walking so far. And then a good, good nap, I would imagine. They, I wonder if that's going to influence their size. I was thinking about this the other day because cubs generally don't get marched all over the place and, and have to move as much as what these little ones have had to do over the last few weeks. I mean, these guys have traveled. They've gone to... to Ottawa, they've been to Londolozi, they've gone into the Manuleti, Buffelshook, Torchwood, Chitwa, Juma, so they've covered some serious ground for those little legs and I wonder if that's going to make them more muscular and bigger later in life. If they keep walking like this ultimately they are getting a lot of exercise and I wonder if that coupled with really good nutrition might mean that they're going to be really bulky individuals a little bit later. It'll be interesting to know. It's, I think it's probably a situation where they will be quite big when they get a little bit older. Anyway, they come from good stock. The Inkum Pride is not a small bunch of lions at the end of the day either. Absolutely wonderful. Come on. It must be tough with them as well in this long grass. It must be a lot harder to walk in this than Mom. You can see Mom, she's just ambling along and the little ones are having to kind of run to keep up with her. 
It's quite fun to watch. Super cute though. Right. Julie, you're asking, does the car make them nervous? Well, not really. Mom is absolutely relaxed. She's not once turned at us. She's not once given us an indication that she's worried about our presence. She hasn't growled. She hasn't swished her tail. She hasn't kind of been in any way aggressive towards us. The cubs probably are a little bit kind of like, what is this big object that's following me around? But they're getting used to it. At the end of the day, if, if, you, if you see when we stop, they don't really care about us at all. The little cubs run around with mom. They're not really too fussed about us. And it's why I'm giving them quite a wide berth at times. So I'm trying not to get too close unless we're on a road or something like that where we have a little bit more open space then the cubs won't worry as much. But you, I'm trying to just give them a little bit of room so that they can walk and they can kind of go on their own way and I don't have to crunch through bushes and scare them. But they're not too bad. I mean, they, really the, the running that you're seeing is a lot more just to try and keep up with mom. You can see mom leaves them behind. So both of them were together with mom and then she walks and she's far too kind of big and her strides are much larger than theirs. So they have to trot to try and kind of keep up with mom all the time. And it's not actually that they're running away from us. They're just trying to get back onto mom's sort of tail area and to try and stay nice and close. At the end of the day, if they drift away from mom, there's a lot of danger for them. Right, I'm going to try and keep up with them a little bit longer and before they cross over into Arethusa while I do that. Taylor Mack, who I think is still battling a little with her eye and is probably in a little bit of discomfort, has her sunglasses on and is driving through the beautiful Masai Mara.